Though the final battle of the American Revolution happened far away, our area still had an important role to play as the British left the Americas. On May 6, 1783, Sir Guy Carleton, the British commander, rode ashore here in Piermont to meet with George Washington at the DeWint House in Tapan. Their task was to negotiate how to turn over New York City which was still full of British troops, to the Americans. It was not a simple matter. There were troublesome issues. The British had promised that any slaves who joined the British would receive their freedom. Large numbers of slaves had run away during the war to join the British, and Sir Guy had already helped many of them to leave New York before it became part of the new country. This to Washington was theft of the property of his countrymen, and was a violation of the agreement which had ended the war. Sir Guy had kept records of all the former slaves he had allowed to leave, and he proposed that Washington accept payment for them rather than their return. Washington reluctantly agreed, and a deal was struck. Between May and November of 1783, when all the British troops finally left New York, over 3,000 African Americans had been transported out of the United States to freedom. On May 7, 1783, the British returned Washington's hospitality by inviting him to dinner on their ship, which was anchored about here, off of Sneedon's Landing. The British had anchored here many times during the war, but this time it was different. As Washington left the British ship after dinner, the British fired a 17-gun salute to Washington and his country's new flag. It was the first time the British had saluted the flag of the new United States. And it happened here, on our river, in our neighborhood. <laughs>